You know, first thing I'll do is start off by, uh, like I said to Coach Gundy after the game, uh, you certainly have a top 10 football team. And uh, I don't know if there's many teams around the country that, you know, in their first three games play two top 10 teams. And, uh, you know, whether it was a hangover from last week, obviously it starts with me, uh, you know, not getting our guys as ready to play as they need to be. Um, again, that's a good football team. That is a top five football team for sure. Um, you know, I've got no, you know, no question about it. We knew they were a good football team coming in. Um, we had troubles covering them on defense. We had troubles getting first downs on offense and at least keeping our defense off the field. We didn't, you know, um, I haven't looked at the stats, but I'm sure we didn't win the time possession. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously disappointed in the performance. Our kids are disappointed in the performance. And, um, you know, we'll continue to move forward. Um, you look at, you know, ACC start, uh, play is starting next week against Georgia Tech down in Atlanta. And, and that's where our focus will go, uh, right, right on to them. And uh, we'll continue to move. Open up questions. You have a decision to make at quarterback? Yeah, we got a decision to make for sure. You know, I mean, you look at it, Max wasn't very productive when he was in there. Misses a long shot to gesture, which could, you know, just give you some life. And then, you know, Ben comes in, like I've told you, you know, we, I think we've got two pretty good quarterbacks. Do we have a great quarterback? No, not right now. Okay. Um, you know, Nathan Peterman was, you know, a great quarterback walking out of here. And, um, and, and you miss guys like that. And, you know, it's what happens when you're a young football team in a lot of different spots, not just at the quarterback spot. Um, but, you know, Ben came in and, and gave us a spark that, you know, we thought he could. That's why we made the decision to put him in. And I guess it was second quarter, whenever it was. And um, he provided that spark and did some nice things. And he did some things where, um, you know, we've talked decision wise, he can't do. Um, you know, throws a pick six and um, then throws another one down the red zone, moves him down the field, but we got to get in the end zone when we get down there. So um, we'll continue to evaluate and, um, and we'll, we'll watch the tape and see where we are. Safety is just a tough matchup because you got younger safeties and experienced guys who are having, having to cover those yeah. slot receivers. It is. Um, you know, we got we played a lot of safeties. You know, Demar got in there and did a, a solid job. I think later on, and you know, we're you know, the, well, the one good thing is you know some of those guys didn't get to summer camp as some of you guys know. Um, so that second half was a scrimmage, and we got to see some of the young guys compete and play and um, and, and try to pull along some of those younger guys. Um, you know, we'll have an added safety next week. You know, coming into the pack, which will help us. Um, which is, you know, really hurt us for, for three weeks. And, um, you know, he's paid the price and he'll be back. And, and then we'll continue to look at that, you know, that second half and find out who made plays, who didn't. And, um, and, and really, again, that was, you know, whether it's Theron, Coleman coming in the game and playing a little bit. I mean, there's some guys that got some reps today, which, you know, we normally don't get a chance to, to have. We didn't have a chance against Youngstown. So it was good to see some of these young guys compete and, and, um, and have an opportunity in that second half. So that's, I guess, a bonus. Well, I mean, we are changing. When you look at it, there's a lot of change back there. Um, you know, there's some different things. We played a lot of man free, played a lot of quarters, and, and, and played a lot of cover three. Um, but then, you know, different things happen. I mean, you know, we don't stop the run early. Um, you zone pressure, you put yourself in thirds, and you make a couple plays, and all of a sudden, then you get gassed because they run a, you know, kind of a power scheme and kick out and and, uh, and get all the linebackers all stuck up, stuck up inside. So, um, you know, it's. You just got to keep going. I mean, there's not, there's always so many things you can do, and and matchup wise, probably not a great matchup. And we knew they had some, you know, not just Washington. We knew they had great receivers all over the field. They they got a good football team. Gundy's been doing it a long time. He's got what he wants there, and and uh, and they, they've got a good football team. Uh, how disappointing for you, especially as a defensive coach, uh, was it to not be able to get off of the field third third down, especially in the first half? Yeah, I mean, you, you look at it. We had opportunities. I mean, we're you know we're whiffing on it, you know. And, you know, for some of you older folks in here, you know, it's, it's, Fran Tarkington wasn't back there. I, I think I said it last Thursday um, or Friday. Um, that's not, not a, you know, not what he does is be mobile, but we fell off of him. He, he, you know, we just didn't make plays when we had opportunities. And, um, you know, when you let a guy, you know, have opportunity, to, you know, with time to throw the ball down the field, then you're going to have problems. And we had that problem. I mean, when you get to him, you got to get him down. And we had opportunities really for the last three weeks to get sacks, and we haven't got him. Not at all. You know, our, our guys, you know, I didn't have to talk to them. They talked to each other. 
Um, you know, Quadri Olson brought him in and, and they talked. Uh, I have no doubts. Our guys are going to come ready to play next week. And, um, you know, they got to let it go. And uh, we got to move on to the next one. We only get so many opportunities. Like I said, it's a good football team. We didn't get beat by uh, Little Sisters of the Poor. So, um, you know, it's a good football team and, and we got to recognize that too. Just keep recruiting and, and keep coaching hard. Don't give up faith in what you're doing. You know, we got to have belief in what we're doing. And, and uh, there's some good plays out there. And then there's some not so good. I mean, you, you see, you stop, stop, third down, get you. You know, have a bad P and 10, and all of a sudden you do well on second down. So you know, there's got to be more consistent. There's got to be more attention to detail in everything we do, offensively, defensively, and special teams. You know, there's a lot of misplays, you know, whether it's, you know, dropping passes or, or, you know, missing tackles. I think we missed more tackles out there today than we, you know, generally missed. You weren't staying ahead of the down distance. Yeah, well, you know, we'll look at the tape, um, but you know, it starts with blocking, um, and you know, they, they, you know, they've done a nice job uh, really the last two weeks of you know slowing us down. They, you know, slowed us down. I think we had 100 yards, which is the, the lowest we've had. But they got some guys. I mean, they, you know, give them credit. They got some players too. Given that you had played a little bit last week, at what point, you know, were you starting to consider making a change? Did you think about making it earlier at all uh, at quarterback? Earlier today. Yeah. Um, you know, really second quarter is pretty early. Um, and, um, you know, I think, you know, we made it when we needed to, uh, try to give opportunities. Just, you know, we need a spark and, you know, it wasn't Max's fault. Okay. There's 11 guys out there. So, um, you know, it's, it's not all on one guy. It's on 11 plus, plus me and uh, I'll be the first one to take it. Um, I didn't, I didn't get the guys ready. Um, you know, I probably won't tell you, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll continue to evaluate.